At Mamlan Grown Lens Ku, the green land of clay of Atli, is one of the heroic poems of the poet Akeda. It relates the same basic story as Alakvitha at greater length and in a different style. The poem is believed to have been composed in Greenland, most likely in the 12th century. Plotting to kill his brothers-in-law, Atli, Thor, dispatches messengers to Gunnar and Hani, the sons of Juki, with an invitation to his hall. Guthrun, daughter of Juki and Atli's wife, learns about the plot and sends a runic message to her brothers but the runes are corrupted by one of the messengers, Vinny. Nevertheless, Kostbra, Hani's wife, discerns from the runes that something is wrong and warns Hani. Hani dismisses her fears but she persists and describes dreadful dreams she has had, interpreting them as warnings. Hani remains unmoved and explains the dreams away. Glomver, Gunnar's wife, has also had bad dreams which she describes to her husband, who also attempts to explain them away. Eventually Gunnar admits that their lives may be short but tells Glomver that he cannot evade his doom. The brothers set out to Atli with only three companions. The women follow the brothers to a fjord where their ways must part. Glomver reminds Vinny of the sanctity due to a guest and he swears that there is no deception. Kostbra and Hani say farewell to each other and the men row away. As the brothers and their companions arrive at Atli's door, Vinny admits to his treachery and is promptly slain. Atli then attacks the five guests with a force of thirty. The battle rages for hours and Guthrun joins it on the side of her brothers, throwing away her jewelry. Finally the children of Juki are overpowered, having slain eighteen of Atli's warriors. Atli trades accusations with his wife and orders the execution of Gunnar and Hani. Following a comical episode with Lee, Atli's cook, Atli has the brothers executed. Hani dies laughing while Gunnar dies playing a harp with his toe. Atli discusses matters with Guthrun. She tells him that things will go badly for him unless he kills her too. He tries to console her by promising precious gifts and she pretends to relent, asking Atli for a great ale feast to commemorate her brothers. Guthrun then kills their two sons and has the unsuspecting Atli use their heads as drinking vessels and eat their roasted hearts. Later Guthrun kills Atli with the aid of Nyflunger, son of Hani. The final part of the poem consists of exchanges between Guthrun and Atli. Guthrun recalls her glorious past when she went harrying with Sigurthra and her brothers. Atli recalls his marriage proposal to Guthrun and how she was never content in their marriage, despite all of their riches. In the end he asks Guthrun to give him an honorable burial and she agrees. She then attempts suicide and fails. The poem ends on a note that any man who begets such offspring as Juki is fortunate. Mm -hmm.